thanks for your call. I'm glad <laughs> no, no, we, I mean, we did all section Chris. earlier, but brilliant that people call up about it as well. Uh, Neil is a Leeds fan and has a naked story for us. Hi, Neil. <laughs> Hi, Colin. My call's not about sport, as it happens. It's oh. to, to do with your um, piece earlier about getting naked in the line of duty. Yeah. I, um, in 83, when I'd finished my A-levels, six of us went to the south of France and we got jobs selling ice cream and donuts on the beach. Nice. Uh, near Narbonne in France. I'm not sure where and this is going, but uh, <laughs> I hope it's not where I think well, it is. Wherever it is, I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the well, donut thing, oh my God. We, yeah. used to, we used to get dropped off um, <laughs> at beaches with a tray of apple donuts and, and then a polystyrene block with ice cream in it. Yeah. So we walked up the bay of this beach and we got to the top and there was a cordon yeah. and beyond which was a naturist beach. Yeah. And because they'd had problems with voyeurs, there was two like security guards patrolling, yeah. and they stopped me and my friend Mike and said, "Look, you can't come any further because you're fully clothed." Yeah. <laughs> Mike turned round quick as a flash and said, "So what? If quick we whip our kecks off, we can come on and sell." Yeah. The security guard said, "Yeah, fine." So off came the shorts, off came the t-shirt, totally buck naked, walking up the beach with a plastic tray full of donuts and, and some ice cream, shouting "Benjie or Palm Day Glass." Totally buck naked. Yeah. So did how did you get on with uh, the cones? All right. Yeah. How was your cone and that piece? Did you? <laughs> Don't answer that. Yeah. I, I didn't store the donuts anywhere unusual either. But, uh, <laughs> but the, uh, Could you imagine? Do you want a donut? Take your pick. That's brilliant. Do you uh, know what though, Colin? Yeah. We absolutely sold out because no, <laughs> everybody else had been turned away and no exactly. Yeah, we yeah, sold you did. out in a couple of hours and I, spent the rest of the afternoon <laughs> sunbathing. That's the thing, you see, your guy came along, first of all, with a hag and ass. He didn't want to go up, so you cleaned up when you went up there, so to speak, again. Um, brilliant, Neil. Thanks for calling in, mate. Have a good day. Cheers, thanks. Yeah. Bye. Sam is a Scunthorpe fan. <laughs> yep. um, surely now they could be looking to the next stage, as, as Mickey's saying there, and going on there, and, and maybe, maybe making one marquee signing at maybe £40 million a year, you know, like... Mm-hmm. Like Alexa Ozil there and that went to Arsenal and Sanchez the following year, you know, and I'm sure they're probably going to bring in another another big name before the transfer window is done, Arsenal. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe do it that way, that yeah. way about. Um, Listen, do you know the other thing as well, though, Johnny? It's two games into the season for everybody. You know, nobody's yeah. claiming Hull are safe. No one are claiming Liverpool can't go and win their next five or six games. I've really yeah, liked yeah. Klopp's start to the season and what he's been saying and uh, I've liked how aggressive he's been. Um, you know, on and off the field, and you know, th- there's there's players to sign before they win a close. And let's make it clear: we talk about Liverpool all day, Johnny, but you know, they're in a much better position than most of football. So let's just get a bit of perspective on that. It'll be interesting to see what they do. There's the bones of a really, really exciting team there. That, as Des pointed out, Des, no European football. You know, that's the key yeah. there. That's the key to concentrate yeah, yeah. those games, Johnny. We, you know, we'll see how it goes next few weeks. Thanks for coming in. Look after Belfast for me. He's gone. There you go. He's way to look after it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark is sorry. It just sometimes happens. Mark's up to R. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, well, uh, put it right. this way. It was uh, straight after that class that I went and uh, bought myself lots of cycling shorts. <laughs> Are you popped? Top man. It's, oh, it's yeah. not putting donuts on your WhatsApp, but it's good. Uh, Mark, <laughs> thanks for your call, mate. Much appreciated. Hundred pound of vouchers. We know where this is going. <laughs> we know where the hundred pound of vouchers are going, right? Oh, Mr. Donut Man. Yeah, the Donut Man. One hundred pound. Neil oh, from oh, Leeds. It was. Yeah, absolutely right. Good man. Happy days. Uh, uh, thank you for all your calls as always in the Wix phone and really enjoy it. Loads to get on with. In the Hold next... the sprinkles. Hold the sprinkles. Next... <laughs> <laughs> no topping. Oh, no topping. No sprinkles. Would you like some sauce in that? You <laughs> bet I wouldn't. <laughs> Back shortly. <laughs> Talk sport. Talk sport. All right, that's us all done. Thank you very much, Des. Thank you very much to uh, Mickey. Coming up next on Talk Sport will be Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Taking through a Monday, looking back at the weekend, and no doubt, Andy Jacobs got a whole load of good stuff to talk about up the sleeve. What do you got today, Andy? Oh, where's Paul? He's not here. <laughs> <laughs> He's panicking now. Oh, yeah, I'm panicking. Oh, I've no idea. Excellent. Well, on that, on that bombshell. <laughs> no, we've uh, got Grand Paul, Paul Jiggins, Andy. Black hole sun. Won't you come Wash away the rain Black hole sun Won't you come